you are looking live at James A. Anderson Gymnasium on the campus of Ashland Blazer High School in the extreme northeast corner of Kentucky, otherwise known as the center of the basketball universe. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Chris Pullman. I want to thank you for joining us here on My Town TV for this matchup between your hometown heroes, the Ashland Tomcats, and the visiting Covington Catholic Colonels. And uh, this is guaranteed to be an epic matchup between these two traditional state powerhouses and we're going to have it all for you right here in just a few minutes it's the ashland tomcats hosting the covenant catholic colonels right here on my town tv uh that was such a great experience though no that was awesome we got definitely got to go back uh do you got a gift card no i think you got it all right bet, 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 bet. Looking for the perfect gift this year? Pick up a Clark's Hub and Shop gift card. Visit the Ashland Boyd County Health Department to catch up on routine childhood vaccines such as MMR, Tdap, HPV, and hepatitis. Please call 606-324-7181 to schedule an appointment. Safe, Kentucky. Buckle up and put the phone down. I know that we impacted him and it um, really helps, but I don't know if they really know how much they impacted us. The things these kids go through, we can't imagine. Almost every foster that we've had, we still have contact with. We choose to continue to foster with Remy Eastad because they've become family. I've never felt like they say, here you go, you're on your own. You can call them at any time. If they don't have the answer right at hand, they'll find it and get back with you. And we're back with Ashland Tomcats basketball here on My Town TV. I'm Chris Pollock bringing you all the courtside action live here at James Anderson Gymnasium. It's a clash between the Ashland Tomcats and the Covington Catholic Colonels today will tip off right about noon, which is nearly 10 minutes away. And let's go ahead and break down the numbers, starting with the home team, Ashland Tomcats. In 18 games played so far, the Tomcats boast an impressive 13-5 and win-loss record. They're averaging 67 points per game while holding their opponents to just 56, showcasing their prowess on both ends of the floor. With a total field goal percentage of nearly 50% from the season so far against some very stiff competition, the Tomcats have had no problem scoring. From behind the arc, well, they've sunk 163 pointers on the season with a conversion rate of just at 36%. And when it comes to the free throw line, well, they've been solid shooting 70% from the charity stripe on the season. Leading the charge for Ashland is none other than Xander Carter, who has already committed to play uh, in two years at Liberty University. Of course, he's only a junior here for Ashland, and he's Ashland's all-time leading scorer. Ashland Tomcats, rather, all-time leading scorer. As on the kitten side, it is Julia Parker, who is the kitten's leading scorer. Uh, but I digress. Uh, he has... Uh, just see where we are. He is scoring 23 points per game on the season, but he's not alone. Tyson Lalone, who's missed a few games lately due to an ankle injury, uh, has been deadly from downtown, knocking down 48 three-pointers on the season. Nasher Atkins, who was back healthy after missing two games uh, due to a, a case of the flu, uh, has been a force in the paint, uh, grabbing 74 rebounds on the season and also contributed with 115 points of his own on the year. We are going to take another break. When we come back, we'll be just minutes away from tip-off here at James A. Anderson Gymnasium. It's the Ashland Tomcats hosting the Covington Catholic Colonels right here on My Town TV. 
I've been a member for a little over 46 years. They're very family oriented. Um, you just walk in and everybody's friendly, they talk to you, you know, they know you by name. You know, you may not go in there for a day or, you know, several years and I think you, you go in there and you still feel like family. Recently we refinanced our home and it felt like it was right because we trust the people that work there. This is my people. Buffalo Wild Wings, the deals don't stop. Buy one, get one half off Wing Tuesdays. Buy one, get one free boneless Thursdays. And three to six dollar happy hour deals from three to six p.m. every weekday. Only at Buffalo Wild Wings. Right now, one in six Kentucky sixth graders are dealing with anxiety and depression. That's one in six. It's never too early to get your child help, and Pathways is listening. Learn more or connect with help today at pathways-ky.org. We're about six minutes away from tip-off here at Ashland Laser High School at James A. Anderson Gymnasium. It's the Ashland Tomcats and the Covington Catholic Colonels tipping off here at high noon in, uh, in the northeast corner of Kentucky, Ashland, Kentucky. And we've talked at length about your hometown heroes, the Ashland Tomcats, but they'll have their work cut out for them today against the Covington Catholic Colonels who come into this game with a formidable 6-5 and five record. It's important to know they only have two losses in the state of Kentucky, that's against Cooper just a few nights ago. And then early in the season, they lost against Great Crossing, a team at the top of the heap here in KHSAA. And uh, an impressive, impressive team, but maybe not ranked quite as high as they should be because they've accumulated five losses, three of those against formidable out-of-state opponents. And with their high-powered offense led by Caden Miller, who averages right at 15 and a half points per game. And Brady Hussey, who has been a sharpshooter from behind the arc. The Colonels post a serious threat here to the Tomcats at home. One omission for the Tomcats tonight. Braxton Jennings will be out for his second game due to illness. And Braxton Jennings, who's been picking up Division I football offers, like my 16-year-old daughter picks up Pokemon cards. Uh, it is uh, impressive how he has been able to uh, and how the coaching staff for Ashland has been able to get him noticed by so many programs here around the Midwest. That's where a majority of his offers are coming. But Braxton Jennings, one heck of an athlete, tremendous going downhill off the drive. Uh, unfortunately, will miss tonight. But Asher Atkins, who has also been missing lately, is back from the Tomcats, which is going to be a big help for Coach Ryan Bonner and his team, as we mentioned before. Coming into this one, Ashland, uh, oh, check that, uh, Covenant Catholic, losers of five. They lost to La Lomery, uh, uh, Indiana, back in December. They lost to Archbishop McNicholas out of Cincinnati by three back in December. And then they lost to Florida State uh, University High School back on December 28th. Until then, it was... Uh, I believe they ran off about eight wins in a row before they lost to Cooper back on the 23rd, their ninth region foe. So Scott Ruthaltz brings his team into Ashland tonight. Uh, you know, again, sort of a sleeper uh, for once in uh, high school basketball here in Kentucky. As they're usually ranked towards the top. They're sort of out of the top 25 right now. But if you think this team isn't a top 25 team, you are sadly mistaken. And for Ashland, they're also uh, – off of five losses on the season. They lost to a tremendously talented Harlan County team 
to open the season back in December. And then their next loss came against Campbell County on the 21st during a North uh, Northern Kentucky road trip. Uh, and then Highlands also on that same trip. They lost at Corbin at the Tim Short Auto Corbin uh, Auto uh, Classic of Corbin. And then also lost against Boyd County here at home in a matchup that I think everyone uh, in our viewing area was able to watch that night. So we are about uh, two minutes away from tip off. We're going to take our final break. We'll be back with Ashland and Covington Catholic here on My Town TV. Trust is something earned, not given. For over 90 years, KFB has built trust in your community. We believe our neighborhood is our responsibility. Through our quality service, innovative products, and local decision making, we are committed to your financial success. Better financials lead to a better life. All with the Better Bank headquartered in Boyd County and serving the tri-state. KFB, the bank you trust and the community you love. We take pride in our schools. And at King's Daughters, we take pride in being part of the team. With student athlete care from the sidelines to our comprehensive orthopedics program. With walk-in hours in Ashland and Portsmouth that make seeing a provider easier than ever. Our team is delivering faster diagnosis and treatment, getting our student athletes back in the game and back to what they do best. Orthopedics at King's Daughters. Hi, I'm Clay with Pollux. Pollux has been in business for 150 years. My grandfather purchased Pollux from his niece in 1955. And 69 years later, my family gets to celebrate 150 years in Ashton, Kentucky. And we want to thank you and your families for your support over 150 years. degree in your own backyard on your own terms. Ohio University Southern delivers affordable, flexible degrees that are always in demand in our community or can take you anywhere. Move your career forever forward. And we're back with Ashland Tomcats basketball here on My Town TV. Both teams have re-entered the floor. We are just seconds away from tonight's starting lineup, so we're going to throw it courtside to Mark McDowell with tonight's starting lineup. It is Caden Miller, Brady Hussey, Athens McGillis, uh, and Cash Carney, and Nolan Ruthsaltz. And for Ashland, 
That's Tyson Malone, Xander uh, Carter, Nate Smith, I'm sorry, Nate Freeze, Cam Davis, and Asher Atkins. So both teams receiving their final instructions. Are huddled up and we'll see. I think I got the starters right for Coveting Catholic. I'm questioning whether Brady Hussey is out there. No, he is, so we're good. Like I said, Miller, Hussey, McGillis, Harney, and Ruth Saltz. And it will be Miller and Carter who will jump it up. Ashland taking a defensive position on the tip. And we are underway. Tip controlled by the Colonels. And McGillis will walk it across the timeline. Here's Harney. Harney against Davis. Able to find Miller underneath for the Double slam. And the Colonels out to an early lead. Here's Adkins. Carter now off the screen from Freeze. Davis. Carter back up top. Freeze inside. Nowhere to go. Turns and hooks. No good. Rebound controlled by Harney. He's trying to push it up quickly in transition, but taken away by Freeze. Now Carter in transition. Carter. Just checking the call there. It will be Ashland's ball as it was deflected by Ruth Saltz. So Ashland will go four flat. Here's Freeze. Three ball. Corner pocket. No good. Rebound controlled by Miller. McGillis now across the timeline. Harney, nowhere to go. Back out to Hussey. Hussey with the floater, no good. Rebound, Asher Atkins, the Tomcats. Still struggling to find their first bucket. That one will go against number 22, Nolan Russaltz. That'll be his first. And that will send Asher Atkins to the line. Bruce Sats first foul of the game, first foul for either team. Atkins will eye it. And gets the first one to roll in. Asher Atkins, a 70% free throw shooter on the season. Opens Ashland's account here in the first half. And that one gets the shooter's roll. We're tied up at two. Here's McGillis. Ashland. In a 2-3 zone now as can't figure out. One player lost a shoe. I'm not sure who it was. Looks like it's Tyson Lalone who lost it. And he just threw it out. It's going to play. Here's Harney. Trying to find room around Lalone and can't. That shot short by Hussey. And here come the Tomcats. Lalone still. Semi-shoeless, Freeze on the trail. Got it, Nate Freeze, three ball. And that will lead to an official timeout, so Tyson Lalone can reboot himself. 6-16 remaining in the first quarter, 5-2 Ashland. And Cade Miller drawing a lot of attention from Ashland's defense after his opening Two-hand smash on the cross screen. Ashland does not want to let him near the rim again. Rusets taken away by Davis. Has Carter ahead. Xander Carter with a two-hand smash. And Rusets wants a timeout. It'll be a 30 as Carter pushes Ashland's lead out to 7-2. Ashland's defense, after that initial first design play off the tip, Ashland's defense has done a really good job of doubling down and making sure that Cade Miller uh, does not get the easy entry pass. And if he gets the entry pass, they're doing a good job of pushing him off the block uh, to where he needs to make a decision whether he's going to take the mid-range jumper or pass back off. But they're not letting themselves get buried deep, which uh, you know is something that Ashland sometimes is prone to do. There's the first whistle. Ashland up 7-2 with 5.56 remaining here in the first half. I had uh, Nate Freeze with the three. I wrote it down as Cam Davis, but let me make that change while we have a break. 
So for Ashland, it's Nate Freeze's three. Xander has a two on a dunk, and Asher Atkins with two free throws. Caden Miller with the only two points for Covington Catholic as McGillis brings it across the line. Here's Hussey. Back to McGillis, inside to Miller, who's trying to get that low post position. Rusats has to kick it back out, and McGillis will reset. A travel by uh, number three, Harney, and wasn't called, but Ashland gets the rebound. Xander Carter now. Driving all the way to the rim, left hand layup, up and in, Xander Carter. Official timeout. And I don't know what's happening here tonight. This floor may be extra sticky because that's the second player that's lost their shoe during the course of play. Xander Carter now on four. As nobody stepped over to pick him up on that drive. Here's McGillis. Nowhere to go. Here's Miller out front now. Harney. Nearly taken away by Asher Atkins. There's a scrum on the floor picked up by Hussey. And Finally, a block by Freeze on Harney will give Covington Catholic the ball out of bounds underneath their own basket. Hussey will pull the trigger for Covington Catholic. McGillis, wide open three ball, no good. Rebound Miller. Inside to Miller, trying to go to work on Freeze. He gets doubled by Davis, but Miller able to rise and fire over both Ashland defenders for Covenant Catholic's second basket of the game, 9-4 Ashland. 4.40 remaining in the first quarter. Here's Carter. Carter with room to drive on the left side, lost the handle and had to recover. Now it's Lalone. Back to Carter. Here's Freeze, who had a shot but decided to pull it back. Now Asher Atkins isolated on the wing. A blatant jersey pull by the defender, McGillis, but Malone able to get the finger roll up and in to make it 11-4 Tomcats. Miller inside. Back out to McGillis. Corner. Rusats missed the shot. Got his own. Up and in. Nolan Rusats. And that's his first bucket of the game. And I looked down to mark the score, looked up, and the whistle blew, and I believe they're debating as to whether that was a goaltending call. I still didn't get it. Regardless, it's Covenant Catholic's ball. Trailing by five. Here's McGillis. Rusats now outside. McGillis again. Hussey off the screen from Miller. Turns the corner, has room to drive. Floater up and in. So Hussey now on the board. Covenant Catholic has cut the Ashland lead to three with 3.13 remaining here in the first. Carter on the drive. Drops it off to Freeze, up and in. Great job by Carter to draw Miller in defensively, and it left Freeze all alone, and now Miller underneath for the slam. As that's how Covenant Catholic can work Miller, to try to get him down the floor quickly in transition before that help defense can set up. And right there was perfect execution by Covenant Catholic on the break to get Miller isolated against the smaller freeze where he was able to rise and score. Noah Johnson now on for Covington Catholic. Backdoor cut, perfect pass from Harney to find Hussey on the cut, and that's his fourth point of the game. Carter now up front. Johnson on him. Wants the screen from Freeze. Double screen, actually. Flare screen, but Carter decides to pull the trigger himself. Freeze pulls down the rebound. Out to Davis. Davis to the corner. Asher Atkins, three ball. Got it. Three by Asher Atkins. Asher Atkins with his fifth point of the game. Makes it 16-12 Tomcats. 
Here's Hussey up top, finds Miller inside. Miller on the post move. Didn't get the bucket, but Nate Freeze picks up his first foul of the game. And that will send Miller to the free throw line. Miller on the season, only a 41% shooter from the free throw line. Has 74 attempts, has hit 31 of those. Reggie Bechtel and Caleb Clark coming on for Ashland at the next opportunity. And Tate Kruer on for the Colonels. Miller misses the second rebound by Bechtel. Carter now, 30 feet from the basket. Covenant Catholic extending way out beyond the three point line. Caleb Clark now in the corner. Davis now up top. Back to Clark. Clark feigns the three, instead finds. Carter, three ball, corner pocket, Lalone, no good. Rebound, Clark, blocked on the way up by Miller, and here come the Colonels. Great defense by Clark to read the eyes of, I believe that was Hussey, who tried to make the pass, the long distance post-entry pass to Miller. So a takeaway by the Tomcats. Ashland taking their time here with a minute to go in the quarter. Davis out front. Bechtel on the elbow. Looking for his options. Kicks out to Davis. Now Ashland moves Carter to the post. Drops down to Bechtel. Bechtel has it knocked away. Nope, they're going to say it went off Bechtel's leg. So it will be Covington Catholic ball as Donovan Bradshaw checks in for the Colonels. Johnson, back to McGillis, Harney, Johnson again. Covington Catholic hoping to hold it here for the last shot of the quarter, down three. The chance to draw with them one or potentially tie it. Been a great game so far here in the first eight minutes. McGillis up top, Harney now on the wing, nine seconds. McGillis, crossover, kick to Johnson in the corner, three ball, got it. Three by Noah Johnson. Noah Johnson ties it up, Carter with the long heave off the mark. So after one, we are all tied up at James A. Anderson Gymnasium. It's the Ashland Tomcats and the Covenant Catholic Colonels locked up at 16. We're going to take a break. You're watching the My Town matchup on My Town TV. Uh, that was such a great experience, though. No, that was awesome. We got definitely got to go back. Uh, do you got a gift card? No, I think you got it. All right, bet, 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 bet. Looking for the perfect gift this year? Pick up a Clark Seven Shop gift card. Visit the Ashland Boyd County Health Department to catch up on routine childhood vaccines such as MMR, Tdap, HPV, and hepatitis. Please call 606-324-7181 to schedule an appointment. Insurance with a local agent. It's called service. Call me, Mary Boggs State Farm Agent in Ashland today at 606-744-1208.
Leaves it for Miller. Miller up and through Davis. Call for the foul. So Miller will go to the line to shoot two. That foul assessed to Cameron Davis. That's his first. Caden Miller, as we mentioned, a 41% shooter from the free throw line on the season. Back irons that one. Caden Miller at the line for Covington Catholic, Nate Freeze, and Asher Atkins in the Ashland lineup. Nate Freeze now back on for Reggie Bechtel and Ashland with their original starting five on the floor. Caden Miller's second, all net. Miller two of four from the free throw line so far tonight. He's on eight points. Here's Carter. Hussey on him. Davis now, flare screen for Carter. Nowhere to go, kicks back to Davis, but knocked away by Johnson. Davis with the recovery. Davis now turns the corner, had freeze on the baseline, instead kicked back out to Carter. Carter with a crossover, step back. Xander Carter misses long. Rebound, tied up by, nope, they're gonna get freeze for the reach. That will be Big Nate's second. And you can tell by the look on Coach Bonner's face that he is frustrated by that decision. You don't want your big man picking up his second foul of the first half, 90 feet from the basket. Harney across the timeline. Looking for McGillis off the screen. Instead, it's going to be Hussey. Hussey, nowhere to go on the baseline. McGillis now up top. Wants to go to work. Finds Hussey back in the corner again. Hussey wants to drive baseline. Tied up for a second against Carter, but did not call the jump. Post feed into Miller. Skip pass to McGillis. Back out to the corner to Harney for three, and he buries him. So the Colonels now with a 20-16 lead here with six minutes, 10 seconds to play in the half. Lalone drops down to Bechtel. Good help defense and recovery by uh, Cash Harney to slide down and fill the lane as Lalone tried to dump it down to Bechtel. So Sam Lyons makes his first appearance in the game for Ashland. Ashland will go with a four low set on their inbound. Davis will pull the trigger. Here's Carter. Lions, three ball, corner pocket, got it. Sam Lyons didn't take long to get on the board. Sam Lyons makes it a one point game, 2019 Colonels. McGillis. Hussey, three ball, no good. That one tapped right to Carter, and here comes Ashland. Asher Atkins on the drive. Got a little out of control, and now a turnover. Miller in transition. Finger roll up and in. And Coach Bonner wants a timeout. It'll be a 30, so we'll stay right here. And Coach Bonner right now just Ashland playing really loose on both ends, and I think that's what Coach Bonner is most upset about. Against a team like Covenant Catholic, you can't take possessions off. Uh, you have to be set in your defense and disciplined in your positioning every trip down the floor. You can't get beat back in transition. And what it seems like right now, what's frustrating Coach Ryan Bonner is that Ashland is getting beat down the floor in transition and they're, they're breaking down on the defensive discipline, leaving shooters on the perimeter. And I know it's a big task to try to double Caden Miller on the inside and still bounce out to take out the three, but Coach Bonner not happy with the way his team has handled it so far. Doesn't help that Nate Freeze is on the bench already with two fouls, so he'll miss the remainder of the first half. So it's Reggie Bechtel, who is still pretty new to basketball, who's out on the floor now, and he has the task of defending a tremendous, tremendous low post talent in Caden Miller. It'll be Ashland's ball, down three, 5.32 left in the half. Freeze, the only player really in foul trouble in this game at all. And for the Colonels, they've only committed one foul in this game. It was Nolan Rusats who committed it early. And they've played pretty clean ever since. Here's Carter, handoff to Lalone. 
Lions back to Carter. Carter with Hussey on him. Carter's going to back it out, reset things for Ashland. Here's the loan. Lions now, 40 feet away from the basket. Johnson on him. Lions trying to turn the corner. Bechtel now. The loan off the curl screen. Hesitation. Davis now in the corner. That pass deflected. Otherwise, Davis had his feet set to let it fly. Lions, screen from Carter. Ashland now showing some discipline offensively, not taking chances. Mismatch here with Johnson on Carter. Bechtel with the high screen. Miller does a good job of showing. Kicks to the corner to Davis. Three ball, in and out, rebound Miller. Not a bad offensive possession for Ashland. Just couldn't get the shot to fall. Harney now. He'll set things up for the Colonels with 4.30 to play. Johnson. Flair screen for Johnson. Three ball. In and out. Rebound Miller. And Ashland's got to do something about Caden Miller, who's just doing work on the offensive boards right now for the Colonels. Davis, high ball screen from Bechtel. Trying to turn the corner. Lines, three ball, corner pocket, no good. Rebound Miller. Harney. Caden Miller. Now it's Johnson outside. Back to Hussey. That pass deflected by Lalone. It will be Covenant Catholic's ball out of bounds underneath. And McGillis back on now, this time for Cash Harney. So Hussey will pull the trigger. Johnson. McGillis. Harney. McGillis. Thought he was going to pull it from 25. Instead, Harney will, will let it fly. Rebound controlled by Miller. Wants to go up through Bechtel, puts him in jail. Miller gets his own, gets his third rebound up and in. Caden Ashland can do nothing with Caden Miller right now as the Colonels take their largest lead of the game, 26-19, with 3-10 to play here in the first half. Carter spins back alone now. Sloppy pass by Lyons, picked up by McGillis. McGillis now missed the shot, rebound Johnson. Miller picks it up and cleans up another rebound. Right now, Ashland in big trouble, down nine, even though it's early with 2.50 to play in the first. We're going to take a break. You're watching Ashland Tomcats basketball on My Town TV. We will be right back. Visit the Ashland Boyd County Health Department to catch up on routine childhood vaccines such as MMR, Tdap, HPV, and hepatitis. Please call 606-324-7181 to schedule an appointment. So Ashland so far having trouble finding the keys to unlock that Covenant Catholic defense as Covenant Catholic is allowing Caden Miller to sort of slide off his man and uh, play sweeper there in the middle to take away any drive. So Ashland's had to settle for the three on several trips that they have not converted. And that offensive action has found them down 28-19 with 2.50 to play. And on the other end, uh, it's been all Caden Miller again. He's picking up offensive rebound after offensive rebound. And I have Miller right now with uh, 12, 14, 16 points in the game. 16 of their 28. Atkins on the drive, kicks to Carter, back to Lalone. He'll let it fly from three, up and in. Just what Ashland needed after the timeout. A three ball from their sharpest shooter, Tyson Lalone. That one taken away by Carter. Here come the Tomcats. They have numbers. Sam Lyons, one more to the lone three ball. Corner pocket, no good. Rebound, Asher Atkins. He'll power up and in. So a five-point swing for Ashland gets them to within four with 2.15 remaining here in the first. 
exactly what Coach Bonner wanted them to answer with out of the break. Of course, Caden Miller also on the bench for Covington Catholic. McGillis with the three. And Kruer will be called for the foul on Lyons, so it will be the second team foul of the game on Covington Catholic. Sam Lyons will take a seat. Nate Freeze back on with two to play against Miller with 2.02 left. Freeze needs to be careful here with two fouls. Carter across the timeline against McGillis. Asher Atkins, three ball, corner pocket, misses. Rebound Miller. Covenant Catholic is on the move. Here's Harney. Crosses over, Harney on the drive, nowhere to go, gets away with the travel. Now McGillis. McGillis kicks to the corner, Crewer, three ball, long. And a shove by Miller at the end of the play. Number 14, Ray Cussie back in the Not line. called. So Ashland trails by four with just under 90 seconds to play in the first half. Here's Carter across the timeline. Carter misses the up and under. Now it's Harney in transition. And Hussey drains the three from the right side to put the lead back out to seven with a minute to play. Asher Atkins. Now it's Davis up top. Harney on him. Here's Freeze. Freeze trying to find Carter, but it's going to be Lalone who will pull the trigger. Three ball, his second of the game, and we're back to a four-point game with 43 seconds remaining in the half. McGillis across the line. Lalone will pick him up. Lalone forces the count. McGillis breaks it. 30 seconds. Here's Harney out front. Back to McGillis. Eighteen seconds on the clock. McGillis trying to work on the loan. On the drive. Taken away by Ashland. Here's Carter. Nine seconds. And he's fouled in transition by Harney. Smart move because they have plenty of fouls to give. And it looked like Carter was on his way uh, to the hoop for a layup. So that stopped a bucket and didn't really do any damage as that was only the first on Harney. So a heads up move by Catholic there. Ashland now with the ball out of bounds. Carter on the drive, fouled. On the way up by Hussey. That'll be his first foul, third team foul of the, of the game on Kevin and Catholic. So Carter will go to the line. Sanders Carter at the line for the Tomcats. Coach Scott Ruthsat's not happy with that call. Carter rattles that one in and out. Six seconds remain. Covington Catholic will have the final shot of this half. Carter second. Back iron. No good. Rebound Johnson. They have a run out with Harney. No one got back to check him. And Coach Bonner is not happy about that. That will end the first half. It is Covington Catholic 33, Ashland 27. And Coach Bonner and his staff have a lot to talk about. Just a few defensive breakdowns here in the uh, at the end of the first half that uh, had a chance to maybe pivot back, get it to within one. Instead, it's Covenant Catholic who was able to spread out their lead. And we'll take a break. You're watching Ashland Tomcats basketball here on My Town TV. We will be right back. I've been a member for a little over 46 years. They're very family oriented. Um, you just walk in and everybody's friendly, they talk to you, you know, they know you by name. You know, you may not go in there for a day or, you know, several years, and I think you, you go in there and you still feel like family. Recently, we refinanced our home, and it felt like it was right because we trust the people that work there. This is my people. Oh, 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 oh,
eyes on the Mars tonight. We're passing up to the stars tonight. We want to go. Wild Wings, the deals don't stop. Buy one, get one half off Wing Tuesdays. Buy one, get one free bonus Thursdays. And three to six dollar happy hour deals from three to six p.m. every weekday. Only at Buffalo Wild Wings. Right now, one in four Kentucky high school seniors are dealing with anxiety and depression. That's one in four. It's okay to ask for help, and Pathways is listening. Learn more or connect with help today at pathways-ky.org. And we're back with Ashland Tomcats basketball here on My Town TV. It's the Tomcats trailing Covenant Catholic at the half, 27-33. And you know, if you want to know the story of the first half, well, all you need to look at is uh, number uh, 14 in blue, Caden Miller, who is 7 of 9 from the floor, has... 12 boards and 16 points in this game. Four offensive rebounds, which I think might be a little light, but Caden Miller absolutely slicing and dicing Ashland on both ends of the floor right now. With it also has recorded two blocks in the game. So it's uh, Caden Miller for Covenant Catholic with 16. Hussey on nine points so far on four, uh, four of seven shooting, one of two from behind the arc. Harney and Johnson each with three points, and Rusatz with two of his own. And for Ashland, you know, they're led by number two, Tyson Lalone, who is three, uh, three of five from the field, two of four from the three-point line for eight points so far in the game. Behind him, Asher Atkins who has seven points, two of four from the floor, one of two from three, and he's hit his only two free throws. And behind him, let's go to, I believe it's Nate Freeze on five. Yes, Freeze has a three and a, and a two to make it five. And Xander Carter has four and Sam Lyons with three for the Tomcats. So right now it's really just how do you solve Caden Miller on both ends of the floor offensively? Uh, Ashland having a hard time defending him, but really it's been the offensive rebounds. It's been uh, it's been the, the big problem with Caden Miller is he's been able to create second and third opportunities for himself and for his teammates on the offensive end. And defensively, uh, you know, he's not going to come out of the middle, folks. So Ashland, early on when they had freeze in the game, Carter did a good job of turning the corner on that curl screen and was able to find freeze when Miller would commit to him defensively. And then, of course, Freeze went out with two fouls. And that sort of changed Ashland's momentum offensively, and they really struggled to score ever since. So some decisions for Coach Bonner at halftime. We'll see what sort of changes he makes when they come out. We've got uh, five more minutes until we start the second half. You're watching Ashland Tomcats basketball on My Town TV. Trust is something earned, not given. For over 90 years, KFB has built trust in your community. We believe our neighborhood is our responsibility. Through our quality service, innovative products, and local decision making, we are committed to your financial success. Better financials lead to a better life. All with the Better Bank headquartered in Boyd County and serving the tri-state. KFB, the bank you trust and the community you love.
Hi, I'm Clay with Pollux. Pollux has been in business for 150 years. My grandfather purchased Pollux from his niece in 1955. And 69 years later, my family gets to celebrate 150 years in Ashton, Kentucky. And we want to thank you and your families for your support over 150 years. Earn a degree in your own backyard on your own terms. Ohio University Southern delivers affordable, flexible degrees that are always in demand in our community or can take you anywhere. Move your career forever forward. And we're back with Ashland Tomcats basketball here on My Town TV at the half. It's the Tomcats trailing Covenant Catholic 33-27 in what has been a hotly contested matchup so far, but Ashland just unable to get in sync on the offensive and defensive ends, which is what's put them in a deficit at the half. But Ashland from here, you know, Covenant Catholic is a tough, tough team. And from here, they'll play host to George Washington on the 30th, which is next, well, Tuesday, uh, right here at James A. And then they'll go on the road February 2nd on the Friday to have a rematch with Boyd County at Summit Gymnasium. And that game will be at 7.30 on February 2nd. We have a full slate of games coming up starting next week, beginning with Russell at Boyd, uh, the girls game on Monday, and then Lewis uh, at Greenup for a tough, tough 63rd district matchup on uh, Tuesday as well. We're going to take a break. We're watching Ashland Tomcats basketball on My Town TV. We will be right back. Hi, welcome to Clark's Pump and Shop. Can I just see our world famous crispy, crunchy chicken? Mmm, chicken. Time to go to work. This holiday season, we're refueling with Clark's Pump and Shop. Return with fresh. Yo. Hopefully, you do too. Visit the Ashland Boyd County Health Department to catch up on routine childhood vaccines such as MMR, Tdap, HPV, and hepatitis. Please call 606-324-7181 to schedule an appointment. Wearing a seatbelt protects a driver in the event of a collision. And driving distraction-free protects everyone. Be safe, Kentucky. Buckle up and put the phone down. I began fostering in 2020. Having a caring adult is important, and I wanted to make sure that I gave that to any child that was in need. I chose to foster with Ramy specifically because Ramy just, they get it. The support that I get with Ramy is excellent. Anytime I need something, I know who to call and I can call any of them, any of them. It actually has positively impacted me because it started the Tolbert family. So the Tomcats have six min uh, 16 minutes to make up a six-point deficit here to Covington Catholic. Uh, they are down 33-27, and if they, they want to do it, they have to find a way to solve the Caden Miller problem. And in the first half, he was 7 of 9 from the floor, including a couple dunks, uh, 1 of 2 from the free throw line, had 12 rebounds in the first half, and 16 points, 2 blocks. Just a fantastic first half as Kevin and Catholic couldn't have asked for anything more out of their big man. And Catholic will begin the second half with the ball. And McGillis will inbound it for the Colonels. And a 
Arney will walk it across the timeline. He has Davis on him. High ball screen from Miller. McGillis feeds inside to Freeze. Skip pass now to Rusaltz, who picked it up and it's like he traveled with it, but no call. But here comes the Tomcats. Lalone out front to Davis. Screen from Carter. Flair screen to Carter, but Davis just put himself out of position to make that pass. Davis now. Here's Cam Davis. Wide open. Three ball. In and out. Rebound Miller. Harney. Hussey on the trail. Now here's Miller. High post. McGillis. Three ball from the corner. Misses. And they're going to put that foul on freeze. And that will be Nate's third. So Coach Bonner has a decision to make. Does he stay with his big guy with three? It looks like he's going to roll the dice. Miller. Harney. Rusets rises, can't get anywhere. Miller, nowhere to go. McGillis trying to turn the corner around. Atkins throws an elbow. And now he's talking a lot of trash to Asher Atkins, who did a good job moving his feet and defending him. But instead, he's called for the travel. Freeze on the elbow. Needs some help. Lalone, three ball from the wing. No good. Rebound. Carter, scoop shot, misses. And Miller called for goaltending. So that will count for Xander Carter for his sixth point of the game. And it's a four point game here with 6.20 left in the first half, the second half, uh, third quarter rather. Sorry, I'm not used to these early games, folks. <laughs> Ruth sets. Hussey out front, finds Miller on the block, misses the shot, rebound, freeze. He'll bring it up himself, finds Carter on the wing. Carter, Atkins in the trail, three ball, got it, Asher Atkins. Makes it a one-point game, 33-32, Colonels. Here's McGillis, matched up against Lalone. Harney. Finds Miller underneath, misses the shot. Miller gets his own, misses that one. Rebound, Nate Freeze. The Ashland fans unhappy. They think Miller pushed off and it's no call. Now it's Carter on the drive, fouled on the way up. This will go on number 22, Ruth Sats. And Miller now barking loudly at his teammates. Foul on number 22, Nolan, Nolan Ruth Sats. So Ruth Sats now on two fouls. Carter will go to the line to shoot two. Carter gets the first one. Tied up at 33. Misses that one. But Ashland opens the second half on a 6-0 run. And the foul will go against Asher Atkins. That's his first, and that will put... Brady Hussey on the line to shoot two. Hussey an 86% free throw three throw shooter on the season. Knocks down the first one with ease. Hussey eyes the second. Pure. Colonels now out to a two-point lead. Here's Davis now walking across the timeline against Harney. Gives it to Lalone. Now it's Carter. Carter on the drive. Fouled on the drive by number 14, Brady Hussey. That'll be Ashland's ball out of bounds underneath their own basket. Cam Davis will pull the trigger for the Tomcats as Ashland in a staggered box set here. Lalone, corner, three ball. Got it. Tyson Lalone. 
Puts Ashland up one here with five minutes to play in the third. McGillis on the drive. Nowhere to go. Hussey now. He'll pull up over Atkins. Knocks it down. And Rusat's called for another foul. And I can tell you, folks, I you know, we try not, we try to be fair. We try not to uh, uh, let's say pick on our uh, opposing schools here, but coming to Catholic. Getting away with a lot of pushing and shoving and holding here uh, that you wouldn't typically get away with in the 16th region. Let's put it that way. And a lot of chirping. Here's Carter. Turns the corner with Freeze's screen. Instead kicks to Freeze. Top of the key. Three ball. No good. Rebound Miller. Quickly out to McGillis. McGillis, hesitation dribble, crossover, shot, no good. And Lalone will get whistled for the foul. And that will send McGillis to the line. McGillis where he shoots 77% on the season. He's attempted 47, hit 36. McGillis with a chance to put Catholic back up three here if he nails both. First one, in and out. McGillis scoreless in this one so far. His second attempt, pure. Four twenty-five to play. Ashland trailing by two. Here's Davis across the timeline. Freeze, hands off to Carter. Carter trying to turn the corner. Hesitation. Carter hook. Misses the shot. Rebound McGillis. And it's Hussey with the three ball from the trail Rebound. position. Hussey. And now it is Catholic I'm up five with 4.07 to play I'm in the third. And that's what can happen with this Covenant Catholic team. They can strike so quickly. If you make a mistake on one end, and you know, they will hurt you quickly on the other end. I've always said a bad shot always leads to a, an easy bucket on the other end right there. That shot by Carter. He doesn't take many bad ones, but I think going up against Miller, he would even admit maybe that was a bit ambitious. And now Ashland finds themselves in a hole once more. And they dug out of it before. We'll see if they can dig out of it again with 4.07 left in the third. Coach Ryan Bonner now probably just trying to keep his team calm. The one thing Ashland must do if they want to win this is to keep a level head and be disciplined on both ends of the floor. When they start getting emotional, that's when they get out of position. They start taking chances. They need to be disciplined and play their game in order to be in the hunt at the end for the W. So Ashland will have it out of bounds. And Covenant Catholic now picking up full court. Here's Carter. Hussey on him. Carter across the timeline. Caleb Clark at the table for Ashland. He'll check in the next opportunity. Lalone, three ball, no good. Rebound McGillis. McGillis on the crossover around Davis. Scoop shot, no good. Rebounded by Lalone. Here comes Ashland. Now it's Carter in the open court. He'll pull it back to Freeze. Lalone, step back. Hesitation by Freeze. And he's fouled on the ground by McGillis. And that is his first foul. Somehow, that's his first foul. So he'll go to the bench. And Logan Wormuth will come on. Freeze now in the corner, looking for some help. Freeze will dribble it up himself. He's resetting the offense for Ashland now. Here's Carter on the wing. The loan on the curl, nothing there. Clark, he'll step out. Nearly lost it. Wormuth almost took it away. Freeze now on the wing. Looking for a cutter. Here's Asher Atkins now against Noah Johnson. 3-10 left in the quarter. Here's Carter now. Johnson picks him up as Catholic now switching on just about everything other than Miller. They're leaving Miller on freeze. Carter on the drive. Carter, nowhere to go. He's in trouble, finds. And now it's freeze. Three ball from the wing, off the mark. Rebound ripped down by Asher Atkins. Up and in and out. Rebound Miller. Harney 
All the way to the rim, finger roll, no good. Rebound, Caleb Clark. Here's the loan now. Ashland's offense just lacking a little creativity here right now as Catholic's been able to defend them pretty easily. They're not occupying those weak side defenders enough. Freeze. Had the chance right outside. Now Freeze again. He'll let it fly this time. Three ball, top of the key, back iron, rebounded by Harney. Harney quickly up to Miller. Miller with the smash. That's Miller's first two points of the half to make it a seven-point game. Ashland, a scoring drought. They got out of the gates quickly, but have only managed three points uh, since tying it up. Clark, freeze in the corner. Here's Carter, looking for room to go. Crosses over, Carter with a floater, up and in. Xander Carter just trying to heat himself up here as Ashland cuts the lead to five with 90 seconds to play in the quarter. Catholic not doing much wrong here on either end. Wormuth, skip pass to Harney. Now it's Johnson up top. Johnson will let it fly from three. In and out, rebound Caleb Clark. Caleb Clark has come up with some big, big rebounds here over the last three games. Clark now over to Carter. A minute five remaining in the quarter. Carter. Kicks to Clark in the corner. Three ball, no good. Rebound Johnson. Ashland's had some really good looks from three here in the third quarter. Just hasn't been able to get him to drop. Harney across the timeline, 45 seconds remaining in the quarter. Hussey now trying to go to work on Clark. Instead, it's Miller at the elbow, traveled. I mean, that was a blatant travel, not called. He moved his pivot foot twice before he put the ball down. 12 seconds, Carter on the elbow. Here's Clark. Ashland needs a bucket before the end of the quarter. Rises and fires, Carter no good, rebound freeze. Freeze blocked by Miller. Two seconds, one, and that will do it for the first quarter, or third quarter rather. It is Covington Catholic 45 and Ashland 38. Ashland has eight minutes left to play to make up this lead, this seven-point lead that Covenant Catholic has. We're going to take a break. You're watching Ashton Tomcats basketball on My Town TV. We will be right back. This holiday season, we're refueling with Clark's Pumping Shop. Return? Refresh. Fuel. Hopefully you do too. Visit the Ashland Boyd County Health Department to catch up on routine childhood vaccines, such as MMR, Tdap, HPV, and hepatitis. Please call 606-324-7181 to schedule an appointment. Insurance with a local agent. It's called service. Call me, Mary Boggs State Farm Agent in Ashland today at 606-744-1208. Earn a degree in your own backyard on your own terms. Ohio University Southern delivers affordable, flexible degrees that are always in demand in our community or can take you anywhere. Move your career forever forward. And we're back with Ashland Tomcats basketball here on My Town TV. And Kate Miller leading the way for the visiting Covenant Catholic Colonels. 22 points and 16 rebounds so far in this game. And had a little help from the officials on his last post move. He caught on the elbow, clearly moved his pivot foot twice before he made his post move. And, you know, it's just how it goes sometimes. Ashland now with a seven point deficit, eight minutes to play. And Nate Freeze, the only Tomcat in foul trouble. He has three, but checking just to be sure. Now he is the only one on fouls. No one else with more than one for Ashland. So here we go. Eight minutes left. Xander Carter will inbound it for the Tomcats. Cam Davis in the backcourt. 
Brings it up against Wormuth. Lalone picked up right away. He'll have to back it out. Donovan Bradshaw on him. Kevin and Catholic here trying to steal some minutes early in the fourth quarter with Caden Miller on the bench. Freeze, leaves it for Carter. Carter on the drive, room to go. He's fouled on the way up. No. Davey Anderson had him in the act of shooting, and Atkins decided it was on the floor. So that'll be the first foul against Covenant Catholic here in the fourth quarter. Lalone's three is short. That went quickly up to Johnson. He'll lay it up and in. The wheel's coming off now for Ashland here in the fourth quarter. Trailing by nine. This game is getting away from the Tomcats. Freeze up top, finds Asher Atkins on the back oh cut. My. Little Princeton basketball there for the Tomcats. Seven point game, seven to play. Harney directing traffic for the Colonels. Now it's Hussey, 40 feet from the basket. Harney, Kevin and Catholic. Satisfied to run a little clock here. Hussey turns the corner on Davis, spins back, nowhere to go. Harney now picked up by Atkins. Hesitation move, no good. Rebound, pulled down by Nate Freeze. Up to Carter and Ashland, trying to strike quickly here. Carter, inside out dribble, held on the drive by Harney. And they're gonna get Hussey for the foul. I mean, Carter's drove. Harney literally put his forearm in front of Carter to stop him from driving, but no foul call. David Miller and Athens McGillis back in the Colonel line. So Hussey now on three fouls. Here's Atkins. Freeze. Malone now off the curl. Nowhere to go. Davis on the wing. He'll recenter it for Ashland. Carter turns the corner, has Miller in his face. Here's Freeze, three ball, top of the key. Ashland needed it. That went off the back iron. Now it's Hussey. Johnson, 40 feet from the rim. Now it's Hussey. McGillis on the wing. Inside to Miller. Miller able to find the cutter. Harney, but it's blocked by Carter. Carter able to get the rebound too. And now here comes Carter in transition. He's fouled on the way up by Harney. That'll be his second. And now Carter needs to get himself settled here. Two big free throws for Ashland with 5.37 remaining in this one. Xander Carter at the line for the Tomcats. If there's a place he struggled so far this year, I would say it'd be the free throw line. And I believe that's mainly due to the fact he has to carry such a load offensively for Ashland that it's sometimes hard to just sort of calm your motor down and toe the line and knock these free throws down. He missed the back, uh, that one off the back iron. Carter's second, clean. Six point game, 47-41, 335, 535 rather remaining. Here's McGillis on the wing. Covenant Catholic wants a timeout. It will be a full. So we'll take that opportunity to take a break. You are watching Ashland Tomcats basketball on MyTown TV. We will be right back. And we're back with Ashland Tomcats basketball here on My Town TV. And the Tomcats find themselves in a hole with 5.30 remaining. Trailing by six to Covington Catholic. Down to 47-41. And 
Coach Bonner taking a little extra time here in the huddle. And now both teams have finally broken the huddle, and I believe it will be Covington Catholic's ball. Yes, it is. They'll have it out of bounds on the side right in front of their bench, and it will be Cash Harney who will trigger it in for Covington Catholic. McGillis back to Harney. Harney matched up with Davis. Trying to find Miller inside as they have freeze on three. Hesitation by Hussey, and he's able to get the right Ball hand layup to fall. The lead now back out to eight for Covington Catholic. Ashland running out of time here. Nate Freeze. Here's Carter, handoff, turns the corner. Lalone, three ball, corner pocket, got it. Exactly what Ashland needed. The lead now five with five to play. McGillis on the drive, spins back over the loan, gets the roll. Roll by McGillis. Atkins, he'll pull it back out. Here's Freeze. Carter now. Screen from Freeze. Drops it down to Freeze up and in. That's that two man game that Carter and Freeze play so well together, but. Ashland can't just answer basket for basket. They need some stops on the other end right now. Seven point game. Check that, five point game. Bad math. Illegal screen by Johnson will give Ashland possession. Is that the break they need? Trailing by five, 410 remaining. Here's Davis, taking his time. Catholic now in a zone, extended way out to the three-point line. Davis, Lalone, Asher Atkins, elbow J, no good. Rebound, Nate Freeze. Carter, nowhere to go, Freeze now. Ashland needs to Get something going quickly here. Freeze at the elbow, kicks to the corner. Asher Atkins, no good. Rebound handled by Harney. Harney now pushing tempo. Has Johnson on the trail, back to Harney. He'll let it fly from three, no good. Rebound ran down by Cam Davis. And now it's Freeze who will walk it up for the Tomcats. 3.15 remaining. Atkins, nice find. Lalone, oh, Freeze turned down the two. Not sure of that decision as Freeze was wide open for the layup. Carter splits the defense. Freeze able to track down another rebound. Now it's Davis on the drive. Finds Asher Atkins, three ball, corner pocket, got it. Atkins makes it a two-point game with 2.40 to play. Coach Ryan Bonner begging the Ashland fans to rise to their feet. McGillis on the drive. Knocked down by Freeze. Here comes Ashland in transition. Asher Atkins, step through, foul on the way up. No call, yep, late call. So Atkins will go to the line to shoot two. And Atkins really took a hit on that one. He looks a little stunned. That foul will go against Hussey. His That's his four. Ashland, Ashland now with a chance to tie it. And I apologize for that, what was likely overmodulation as I maybe got a little animated. Sorry to my production team upstairs. Atkins in and out. Well, Ashland's had their opportunities at the free throw line tonight. Just have not converted at a rate that Coach Bonner will find acceptable. Atkins second. Up and in, one point ball game, 2.24 to play. 51-50, Colonels. Harney, Hussey. Crewer, back to Miller, top of the key. Harney, 
Nowhere to go. They want to get Miller on the block. And Covenant Catholic wants to take a break and think things over. We're going to take one, too. You're watching Ashland Tomcats basketball on My Town TV. We will be right back. I've been a member for a little over 46 years. They're very family-oriented. Um, you just walk in and everybody's friendly. They talk to you. You know, they know you by name. You know, you may not go in there for a day or, you know, several years, and I think you, you go in there and you still feel like family. Recently, we refinanced our home, and it felt like it was right because we trust the people that work there. This is my people. The situation, two minutes remaining on the game clock. The Ashland Tomcats trail Covington Catholic, 51-50. Catholic will have the ball out of bounds on the sideline. Typically in this situation, you have a guy who's completely dominated the game, uh, like uh, Caden Miller, who's, who's on 20 and 17. Uh, typically you would just feed it into the block, get your two points and go. The subplot to that is that Miller shoots about 41% from the free throw line. So you run the risk of putting a sub 50% free throw shooter on the line if you're Kevin and Catholic. So you, know, you might want him to just maybe be there to clean anything up. Here's Harney across the timeline under two minutes to go. Here's Johnson now. Crewer under pressure from Lalone. Ashland has plenty of fouls to give. Hussey trying to turn the corner on Atkins. Ashland does a good job of shutting him down. Crewer now on the wing. Hussey. Hussey wants to go on Atkins. And he's up and in. Nice move by Brady Hussey for the bucket. Now Ashland trails by three. 90 seconds remaining in this clash of the Titans here in Kentucky high school basketball history. Asher Atkins in the corner. Now it's Davis. Freeze. Freeze not even looking at the rim. He is a reliable three-point shooter. Carter at the elbow. He'll go. Carter rises and fires. Everything but in. Rebound Johnson. Ashland now has some decisions to make defensively as they trail by three. They need to put some fouls on Covenant Catholic as Ashland now commits their first foul of the quarter. So the subplot there is that Ashland still needs to commit four fouls to even put Covenant Catholic on the free throw line. His crew is now off. McGillis back on. That one nearly taken away by Davis. Instead, it's the fourth foul on Davis. Clark will come in and Pretty sure he'll, yeah. Davis will take a seat. Freeze on three, Davis on four. Apart from that, anyone on the floor can commit the foul. Clark fouls Harney. That's his first. His first team penalty. So Ashland still has one to give before they'll put Kevin and Catholic on the line. Here's McGillis in the corner. He's fouled right away by Lalone, and now Ashland. The next foul will put Covington Catholic in the double bonus. 52.2 ticks remaining. It's desperation time here for Ashland. And McGillis will go to the line to shoot two on Ashland's fifth tap foul of the quarter. McGillis, a 77% free throw shooter on the season. He's hit one of two so far tonight. Athens McGillis at the line for the Colonels. But even one here makes it a two possession game for Ashland. McGillis drains the first one. 54 50, Covington Catholic. Tate Kruer back on for the Colonels and Cam Davis back on for Ashland. 
Misses the second rebound, Carter. Ashland trails by four. 45 seconds to play, here's Carter. Carter, screen from Freeze. Lalone, nowhere to go. Ashland needs to get something going, here's Carter. Kicks to Davis, three ball from the wing, mi misses, rebound Miller, they need to foul him right away and they do. So Freeze picks up his fourth foul, which will send Miller, if you, you're trying to hand pick someone to put at the line, if you're Ashland, it's Caden Miller. As I mentioned before, shoots about 41% from the line on the season. Miller at the line. But he'll shoot two here on the Nate Freeze foul. Ashland just did not feel comfortable in that possession. Did not get off a great shot. Miller's first one in and out. Caleb Clark now coming on for Nate Freeze. Freeze who's on four. Brian Bonner playing the offense-defense substitution game here with 31 seconds to go. Miller's second, that's it. Five-point game. Ashland needs to get something in a hurry. Lalone, three ball from the corner, no good. Rebound tapped out by Clark, but controlled by McGillis. McGillis will leave it, nope. That's a foul in the backcourt on Davis. That'll send McGillis to the line. Athens, McGillis at the line. Apparently that's Davis's fourth. I had him at five, but we'll just leave it there. Time running out now for Ashland as McGillis knocks down his first one. He makes this one, we're looking at a three possession game and with 21 seconds left, that might be too much of an ask for these Tomcats. McGillis gets the second. 20 seconds, Carter on the drive, step through, foul by Miller. Whether it was on the floor or on the way up, it doesn't matter, Carter will go to the line to shoot two. First. That's Caden Miller's first foul of the game, folks. <laughs> okay, all right. Carter at the line to shoot two. His first one, up and in. Carter's second, in. Back to a five-point game. Ashland needs to force Miller to be the inbound receiver. Instead, it's McGillis, so he'll go back to the line. Personal foul on number two, Thompson Lalone. That's his fourth. So Lalone picks up his fourth. Athens McGillis at the line for Covington. And McGillis with two free throws here basically puts the game away with 15 seconds to go. Gets the first, lead is six. And McGillis knocks them both down, back to a seven point lead for the Colonels and that should do it. Here's Carter, 13 seconds. Kick ball by McGillis with 9.6 seconds remaining. Ashland will have it out of bounds under their, in front of their own uh, bench. Freeze will trigger it. Davis, floater, no good, rebound Miller. And that will do it. Ashland playing a man down without Braxton Jennings. Falls to Covington Catholic, 59-52. We'll come back to wrap things up after this. You're watching Ashland Tomcats basketball on My Town TV. We will be right back. Uh, that was such a great experience, though. No, that was awesome. We got definitely got to go back. Uh, Do you got a gift card? No, I think you got it. All right, bet, 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 bet. Looking for the perfect gift this year? Pick up a Clark's Up and Shop gift card.
Visit the Ashland Boyd County Health Department to catch up on routine childhood vaccines such as MMR, Tdap, HPV, and hepatitis. Please call 606-324-7181 to schedule an appointment. safe, Kentucky. Buckle up and put the phone down. I know that we impacted them and it um, really helps, but I don't know if they really know how much they impacted us. The things these kids go through, we can't imagine. Almost every foster that we've had, we still have contact with. We choose to continue to foster with Remy Eastead because they become family. I've never felt like they say, here you go, you're on your own. You can call them at any time. If they don't have the answer right ahead, they'll find it and get back with you. And we're back to wrap things up here from James A. Anderson Gymnasium. It's the Ashton Tomcats who fall to Covington Catholic by a count of 58-52. And your scores for the visiting Covington Catholic Colonels. Caden Miller led the way with 23 points and 18 rebounds. Ashland just had no answer for him on either end of the floor all night long. And that's kind of been the, I guess if you if you look at the history of this matchup, it's been the post play that's been the difference. As, you know, out in this part of the, the state, we don't get those 6, 8, 6, 10 athletes uh, like you do in the greater Cincinnati, Louisville, or Lexington area. And, we paid for it today, especially with Nate Freeze picking up early fouls. So I think Freeze did a really good job against Miller when he was able to play. Unfortunately, he found uh, found himself on the bench for a majority of the first half. And trailing him, it was uh, Brady Hussey who chipped in 17. Uh, Athens McGillis had eight. Johnson had two, and Ruth Sets had, I'm sorry, Johnson had five. Miller, no, uh, Harney had three, and Ruth Sats had two. For Ashland, they were led in scoring by Asher Atkins, who chipped in 16 to go along with four rebounds and two assists and a steal on the night. Trailing him was Tyson Lalone with 14, with four of 10 from behind the arc. Xander Carter, sort of an off-scoring night for him, and he ended up with 12, only uh, four of 11 from the floor, but... I mean, that's mainly due because Covenant Catholic really dedicated all of their defensive resources towards stopping Xander Carter from going off in this game. But Xander still able to manage six assists against no turnovers and three steals in this one. Uh, behind him, Nate Freeze chipped in seven of his own, one from behind the line, one of six from three, and uh, three of ten from the field. And then behind him, finally, it's Sam Lyons, who had that three-pointer in the first half immediately after he checked in, and that will do it for your score. So for Ashland, well, it's Tuesday night. They will be back on the court here at James A. against George Washington out of Charleston. So until then, I want to thank everybody for joining us from our production crew, Jeff and Josh. I'm Chris Pullum, and until next time, so long, everybody. I've been a member for a little over 46 years. They're very family-oriented. Um, you just walk in and everybody's friendly, they talk to you, you know, they know you by name. You know, you may not go in there for a day or, you know, several years, and I think you, you go in there and you still feel like family. Recently, we refinanced our home, and it felt like it was right because we trust the people that work there. This is my people. Wild Wings, the deals don't stop.
Buy one, get one half off Wing Tuesdays. Buy one, get one free boneless Thursdays. And three to six dollar happy hour deals from three to six p.m. every weekday. Only at Buffalo Wild Wings. Right now, one in four Kentucky high school seniors are dealing with anxiety and depression. That's one in four. It's okay to ask for help, and Pathways is listening. Learn more or connect with help today at pathways-ky.org. Earn a degree in your own backyard on your own terms. Ohio University Southern delivers affordable, flexible degrees that are always in demand in our community or can take you anywhere. Move your career forever forward. Thank you.